On today's episode of Watch JR Go, maybe the buttons in your car are sticky, they're hard to use, or it makes your skin crawl every single time you touch them. Today, we're gonna try a bunch of different fixes and see what works best to fix sticky buttons. What is going on guys? I am Watch JR Go, and like I said, today we are here with my Jag F-Type S, and it has a common problem that a lot of Italian sports cars, uh, a whole lot of cars from this era have. Now, if you buy a new sports car, this problem shouldn't exist anymore, but in all the old Ferraris, Jags, I think some of the Lamborghinis, uh, I'm just trying to think of a few offhand, they have sticky buttons. And I'm gonna show you what sticky buttons are right now so you know what I'm talking about. This door has sticky buttons. My hand, it sticks to it. You can actually see it peeling off up there by the mirror controls. And so you can see the old soft touch coating, which is what becomes sticky, has degraded and is now absolutely nasty. Stuff sticks to it. You can see hairs and stuff stuck to the dynamic mode controls there. Uh, over here, you can see that it's bubbling off of this silver plastic. And if I touch it, it leaves fingerprints and it is absolutely nasty. It actually rolls off your fingers. So in the Jag, we have a lot of sticky buttons to fix and we have the convertible top button that I fixed a couple nights ago as a test spot. So there are a lot of recommendations to DIY a sticky button fix. There are also professional solutions where you can take every switch out of your car. A lot of the Ferrari guys do this. They send them off and if like the labels wore off the switch or something like that, they rebuild the entire assembly and put the coating back on a newer coating that's better and holds up to the sun and the heat and the weather, moisture, all of that fun stuff. Um, there are newer coatings that are better and they will fix that and it usually costs thousands of dollars. I think your average Ferrari now is around $2,000 to fix the sticky buttons on the interior. Today, we're gonna try to fix it on the cheap and it could be as cheap as $1, it could be as much as $7. I don't know, I've got a lot of products to try and we're gonna find out what works best together. So let's jump in the vault, head over to Walmart, buy some stuff and figure out what DIY product works best to clean up the sticky buttons in your car. And we are here at Walmart. Let's run inside and buy some things I've never had to buy before. Makeup remover wipes and hand lotion. I don't, I've never even bought hand lotion. Well, now the choice gets really tricky. We have to decide if the Jag wants a men's lotion or a women's lotion and what kind of flavor it likes. At the end of it, we're gonna go with the cheap one. Uh, this looks like the move for a Jaguar repair. I just remembered there's one more thing people suggest trying. That's WD-40, so let's grab a can of that too because there's none at the shop. I pretty much only use CRC products, but uh, we'll try this too. The auto guys didn't even look at me suspiciously. Let's get back to the warehouse and try out all of our new car care products. Now we're back with our selection of products, including a 91% IPA. We got a couple microfibers laid out, the cheapest lotion. Who knew Jags love the cheapest lotion? They don't even care about the smell. That's what I figured out after a couple of seconds uh, staring at it. Our can of WD-40 here, put that over here. And also the cheapest makeup remover wipes they had at Walmart, pure and gentle. So hopefully these are pure and gentle to the Jag. So we are going to test each one of these with a different section of the car so we have something to compare them to. There's one benefit to the makeup remover wipes over all the others, and that is obviously the fact that it comes in its own little package and it comes with uh, its own little wipes because they are literally wipes. So we're just gonna kick it right off with this. These smell pretty good, actually. Hmm, who would have guessed? So we'll come in here and I'm gonna use one of the uh, less visible sticky buttons, which are the trunk and the rear fog light. These ones are absolutely nasty every time you touch them. So I'll use the makeup remover wipe on the rear fog light to start. So if you guys wanna get close, you can see that that button is nasty. Let's see if you can, yeah, there you go. You can see how sticky those are. And we're gonna jump in with the makeup wipe right now and just start uh, wiping it off. So, I have heard that it might need some time. Wow, these are so sticky. The wipe is sticking to it. It's pulling the wipe apart. It's like uh, moving a goo. Look at that. <laughs> so you may need the entire package to do it with makeup remover wipes. And you're gonna have to swipe quite a few times to make this work out. But it is taking it off, it looks like. It's getting better. Our makeup remover wipe test took almost a minute for one button and it's still not all off. 
it's just kind of rolling it all up at the end here. It will work, I do think. It's just a very long process. So at this point, I'm kind of already over the makeup remover wipes. I think this was a solid test. And there is a lot of stickiness left. It doesn't get into the gaps too well. And it's gonna take a lot of work to do it this way. And on this car, there's so many surfaces to do. Like that is sticky. All the painted surfaces are sticky. That's sticky. The entire steering wheel is sticky. So you are kind of looking for an optimal solution, not just one that works. Overall, makeup remover, not great. Now, that was the cheapest makeup remover wipes. Maybe if you go up in grade or something like that, they might work a little bit better. But I can tell you that compared to the one test spot I've done before, that did not work very well. And the button is still pretty sticky, even after all of that rubbing. I mean, we wasted an entire wipe and we let some of the um, removal fluid come out of the wipe and sit on the thing. So we're gonna jump right on to our Equate Beauty, which is Vaseline Intensive Care Body Lotion. All right, here we go. I assume this is how you do it. You could probably put it on a rag, but I'm gonna massage it in. We're gonna, we're gonna take care of the jag. You do it, you do it essentially. That's just, that's how you take care of the old sticky button cars. Your Ferrari, you know, it just likes it. They wanna be taken care of, they wanna be pampered. So that's what we're doing with the buttons here today. <laughs> and we'll see just how these two sticky buttons come out. We let it sit for a second here. I really did wipe that in there. Oh, that is very sticky. All right, how did the lotion do? That's the real test. So if you guys wanna zoom in here, you can see the makeup remover got this thing pretty good. There's still a lot of stickiness left around the corners and up here in the crevices and the lotion really just kind of moved the stickiness around. We are still absolutely sticky. It's coming off a little bit, but that's sticky and there's lotion and everything. So that's probably not ideal. After messing with this button for a solid minute, the rag is actually sticking to it, which means the lotion worked worse than the makeup remover. So right now we've got um, the lotion as our worst and the makeup remover as our best. Actually, the makeup remover really wasn't that bad. If you spend a lot of time with those wipes, you're gonna get it. And with the lotion, it's gonna take way more time, I would say. So this is one of those jobs where it all comes down to time. Everything in the car is sticky and you gotta consider you're gonna be cleaning forever. This is not my recommendation at this point. Let's keep going. Next up, we've got the classic WD-40. Everyone knows it's a great adhesive remover. Not as good as actual adhesive remover when you're doing stickers. It's kind of, it's kind of compromised everywhere, right? WD-40 can start engines and it can help you break bolts free and it can you know, shut up a hinge in your house. It kind of does everything okay, but it doesn't do anything extremely well. We're gonna find out right now if it removes sticky buttons very well. So let's give the, give ourselves a little squirt on the rag. I don't want to spray this directly onto the plastics just in case it's too harsh. And then we'll just kind of rub it on the button there. This, we're using the one I used the lotion on, of course. And the rag is absolutely stuck over in the corner. Ooh, this does work. I gotta say, this does work. You can see that we basically got it. Let me let me dry it. And you can see how much stickiness is left. So it's sticky in the corner, sticky up in the crevices. But that's not bad. So the only issue is it does leave behind a very oily residue. You can see how shiny the buttons are. Um, that oily residue might cause damage down the road. Who knows, who's to say? Um, it might keep it nice forever, but it also could cause the plastics to break down faster. So I don't have a long-term test. All I can tell you is this works probably better than the makeup remover. We only had to swipe at the button about three or four times to get uh, all of the stickiness off. And now I can touch the buttons. They're not absolutely nasty. So that's obviously our goal here today. We're getting better. WD-40, 
on par with the makeup remover wipes, but leaves an oily film residue behind. I think we've exhausted our buttons down there in the lower console under the wheel. So we're gonna move up here to the parking brake one, which is one of the nastiest ones in the car. It is absolutely covered. And I'm just putting a little drip of alcohol on my rag and we'll just start wiping on the parking brake button here. So just a couple of passes here. And we'll wipe it off. And now we've got a little bit of stickiness right in here in the corners, but up here, it's pretty good. So I just need to spend a little bit more time wiping on the button. You do want to run the buttons so that you can get up in the crevices, get up underneath them. Hey, the parking brake does work on this thing. We didn't know if the parking brake worked or not. Now that was, what, 30 seconds real time with the alcohol? It was not much time at all, and I would say it's almost perfect. It looks like a brand new button. There's no stickiness, no residue. Uh, I'm gonna keep right on working with the alcohol here. Just a couple more swipes, and I think we'll get that last corner, get the top, and that is the end of, uh, of a button. And I will say, so far, the alcohol seems to be well and above in the lead compared to our other solutions. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on the other four buttons here in the center console real quick. See how that comes out. And if this works, we're gonna go ahead and jump back over to our lower console and try to clean up those switches a little bit more. See if we can get the oily residue off from the WD-40. So we're just doing, uh, you know, 30 seconds of swiping on the switches here. Ooh, buttons we can touch after just a few seconds. Wow, so gross. Well, here's the only downside I found so far. I was wiping the parking brake button off one more time. And if you look right here on the corner, it looks like it took off a little bit of the paint. So just that little tiny white mark. And that's the only issue I've had so far. But I will say all of these buttons, these were all done with alcohol and they all look great. So I'm gonna keep using alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and try the dynamic switch out now. See if we can get the stickiness off that and do a few other things in the car. I, this is working out really well so far. So uh, alcohol is far in the lead at this point. And now for the thing everybody wanted to see. We're making good progress getting the stickiness off all of the console buttons. There were so many comments about the start stop button. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I figure since we're in here, we might as well just try. It's covered in this nasty black gunk from people touching it with dirty hands for years. And look at that. It is taking the paint off, but it's also taking off all that nasty gunk that was all the way around that button. So uh, we'll give it a couple more hits and it looks like we might be in luck. This is one of the worst parts of the car. You can see it's actually covered in hair and all kinds of nasty lint. So we'll get in here with the alcohol. Hopefully this works. We're gonna kind of pre-soak it this time. You can actually feel it rolling off. It's like touching a melted Jolly Rancher. Absolutely nasty. Okay, after 20, 30 minutes, the alcohol has done its magic on almost every button in this car, and there's a lot of very nasty stuff that came off of these sticky buttons. Um, I'd say a lot of that's hand goo. Everyone knows hand goo is really gross. Uh, that's why it's brown. And the rest of it is the soft touch uh, coating coming off. So the center console here looks great. The dynamic selector, you can touch it now. I cleaned underneath it, cleaned around it in both directions. All these buttons, good to go. The radio button's good to go. And another big one, all of this. All of the door switches have been hit. Um, basically every switch in this car that was nasty is now, I mean, they all feel brand new. And we didn't really mess anything up, so that's perfect, other than my little corner where I knocked off a little bit of the black there. The rest of it looks great. My advice would be, don't use too much alcohol. Don't push too hard. You can get the coatings and the paints off of the plastics, so be careful. I was using little bitty spots of alcohol, about that much, and then a fingertip and cleaning out each switch and each surface. Also cleaned up the start stop button. It's way better. You can remember that was just a, a ring of grimy black gunk. And sure, it took off some of the brown paint now and we're getting into the black paint, 
but there's no more finger gunk on it, which is a big deal. So there you go. With all the options to clean up your interior, alcohol is number one, makeup remover, number two, WD-40, number three. I'm only ranking it that because it does leave an oily film and the makeup remover and alcohol do not. And the worst one by far is hand lotion. So there's a lot of recommendations for hand lotion online and I would say avoid that one. Or maybe I got the wrong hand lotion. Maybe you need a different scent. Maybe the Jag needs a longer massage. Who knows? But as far as my results, alcohol knocked them out like that. And the lotion basically did nothing but spread the goo around on the buttons. Well, my driving experience in the Jag has been increased 1,000 fold because now I don't have to touch it and go every single time. Uh, and of course, there's no hair sticking to the buttons all of the problems that you do have with the sticky buttons. So if you have a Ferrari, I guess try it out. There's a good chance the paint is very thin, so you'll take it off and end up underneath at the plastic, which could be black, could be white. Um, but if you're really gentle, you might just win and not have to have your buttons recoated. And the Jag, I don't need to have them recoated. That worked out great. Now you guys know the order, and the coolest part is that 91% IPA is about three or four dollars making it nearly the cheapest. The makeup remover wipes are actually the cheapest. And I will say this will last about a million times longer because I mean, you can see how much we used to do the entire car of maybe two ounces, maybe three ounces. So uh, you're gonna use basically nothing to get your whole car done and it worked out great. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjrgo.com for cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do and I will talk to you next time. I think a lot of this might just be home remedies because uh, maybe your girlfriend or wife has makeup remover wipes, so those became free, and maybe she won't notice if you steal 20 of them. Probably gonna notice though, because that's half a pack, and maybe you already had lotion, so maybe you won't notice that that's gone, but I'm gonna guess most of you have all of this at home. Like everyone has WD-40, at least one can, and you probably have one bottle of IPA. So I guess uh, take whatever you want from your house because you probably don't have to go buy anything. These are all free fixes. How to fix your car for free. I finally found the one tip <laughs> that pretty much everybody can fix at home without having to buy a single thing. And this car looks incredible now. Those lower buttons look brand new. My console buttons look brand new. Oh, it's so much nicer. I can touch everything. Ooh.